Hey, how's it going everyone? Just back in with another um, lesson on Revelation 16. And so I want people to understand that uh, the Bible is very practical, you know, in terms of um, what God is doing, you know, in the last days. And so just know that first and foremost, Revelation 16, 2, um, reminds us that God's left hand side is going to be identified by God himself and his angels. Okay, so all this stuff that Christianity is pushing uh, you know, about I'm saved and like, you know, we're, we're the elect and we're the, the two witnesses and all this stuff, even the stuff that I do, it does not make a difference. My words, they're just words. They're just my opinions. They're just my thoughts, you know, and then me just doing a rant sometimes. Okay. That doesn't change a single thing. Okay. Everything that's happening in particular in the last days is being done by angels. God's angels are sealing, uh, sealing the elect. Okay. God's angels are gathering the elect. God's angels, like I'm going to read here, are pouring out these vials for the wrath of God. So guess who, look, what's the common theme in all that? God's angels, okay, are identifying God's left and right hand side, not you and not me, okay? So don't get hoodwinked anymore, you know, that you have to go and do all this stuff with other people and like get them to prevent them and warn, wake people, you, no one, how can the truth community wake people up when the truth community is full of uh, Satanists, okay? No, they're not waking a single person up. All of them are Mandela effectors and all these like simulation theory and all these retards. And then I have some truthers who I believe are genuine come by here and say they were saved 2004, 2005, okay? Um, that's satanic doctrine, okay? Get that out of your head. And I'm this is just a friendly warning that I don't think that way and you shouldn't either, okay? I'm just trying to help people to get garbage out of their brain prior to this because I don't want anybody to have to go through this unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, that's ridiculous, okay? So don't read the Bible, Everything that God does, man is quick to like take credit for it. Oh no, I did that. Okay, no, we're, we'll do that and then we'll charge you for it. Okay, so just don't get hoodwinked. God is doing the delineation in the last days and he sends out his angels. Read, watch that video that I did on the wheat and the tares recently. And so God is doing it. Okay, that's his energy on his right and his left hand side. Let him do it. Okay, all we can do is worry about ourselves and get our mind right, you know, and then live right, you know, and then get out of this place. Okay, Revelation 18, 4, fast, okay, come out of her, my people. So that's one way that we can identify ourselves as God's right hand side. And then we have a better chance than other people who don't do that, because then they're likely they have to go through this. Okay, and it's unnecessary, I would say, you know, if you um, <clears throat> know what's really going on, the people that have to go through this have less faith. That's what it is. Okay, God's elect have the most faith. But God gives it to them. God gives everybody different amounts of faith. <clears throat> he was gave Christ the fullness, you know, of, of the faith in the Most High and the power of the Most High. But um, the people <clears throat> on God's right hand side that have to go through this, they have to see it to believe it. OK, I see God's left hand side. OK, like I'm not going to go and do anything to them or anything. But I, I mean, I, it's clear. OK, because people say things within a first the first sentence. OK, like when they interact with me. And I mean, it's just, it's just like, it's like on their, in their pores. Okay. But, uh, you know, for other people, <clears throat> they have to see this, you know, and then they have to give up their life. And then <clears throat> just know that um, Revelation 16, 2 is incredibly important to fulfill Revelation 13, where it says he causeth all rich and poor, you know, free and bond and all that kind of stuff to take the mark. Okay. Because it's kind of gone out, whatever, maybe like 10 or 15% of the earth right now. And that's Bible prophecy as well. It's not going to be out in full bloom when Christ returns and appears for the first time. Because <clears throat> just know that prior to this, these uh, these plagues, which is the wrath of God, God's elect are taken away first because they're they're not here for this. Okay, according to First Thessalonians five nine, <clears throat> and five plus nine is fourteen. So only a small group of people understand what I'm saying, but they avoid this. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, "Go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth." So in, before this happens, Christ has to appear in the sky with his angels to take away his elect or else none of this can happen. OK, that's why I'm confident that this is, this event is going to happen this year, because Revelation 16, 2 needs to occur very, very soon, because there's no other way that Revelation 13 can be fulfilled, because God says in the Bible <clears throat> that that mark has to go out worldwide and it's not working right now. It's hit like a plateau. It needs a huge boost forward and it's going to get it here. And so just know that you don't have to go and like convince people to um, that the earth is flat. You don't have to tell them that Jesus is the, is the Christ. You don't have to do that. Okay. 
because God does that. He's going to preach the gospel with his angels in Revelation 14, 6. He's going to identify his left-hand side here, and he's going to identify his elect. So relax, everybody, all of us, chill, okay? Everything that I say is just a brain dump for me. That isn't just because I say these things doesn't mean that I'm on God's right-hand side. They're just words, okay? The only way that we know that we're on God's right-hand side is if God declares it via his angels or directly himself, okay? So, you know, don't don't take it the wrong way. I'm very aware of this myself, okay? And so I'm not, uh, you know, I'm letting you guys know that have that mindset, okay? We don't decide a single thing. I don't care how many prayers you said, the sinner's prayer, I don't care. If you pray every day, 100 times a day, me and you, it doesn't make a difference, okay? Um, that's not gonna, I'm not saying it's wrong to pray, of course, do that, but uh, God's people pray. But ultimately, the distinction of all these groups is from God, okay? Read the, read the wheat and the tares, okay? Man is not able to do that. And the more we think that we're doing that, God is more likely to reject us, okay? So don't do that, first and foremost, don't. And so just, we gotta take care of our own house. And the Bible even says, within our house, we'll have division. So just take care of yourself, okay? And then make sure that you're not um, thinking things that are antichrist. Don't save yourself. You, if you think you're saved in the past, then you saved yourself. And then you don't need Christ, okay? So don't do that. And then, so I'm trying to prevent people from thinking stupid things like I used to. So don't. And so God's doing all the work, okay? And though this is the amazing thing about it. Our job is not to go and get in God's way, okay? These are all God's judgments. I didn't think of this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make an earth, put two different kinds of people on it, and then come up with this narrative, and then, you know, put sores on people and make this. I mean, how, how would I think of that? <laughs> okay, you didn't either. So uh, don't worry, okay? This is not us. Um, so this is important, the language in Revelation 16 too. Why does it say, and I and, and the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshiped his image. Why didn't you say the mark of the beast? Why does it have to say and them which were, there's two groups of people here because not everybody on God's left-hand side is taking this. Do you think the elite are taking that? Are you kidding me? They have the mark in their brain, in their mind. Okay, like it says in Revelation 13. So they're not putting that in their body. Are you kidding me? They would never put this, this, or anything. They're not stupid, okay? They're calling the shots on this. They're implementing it. So um, God's left-hand side, God knows who they are. And then these angels know who they are. So they're not gonna go and look down and be like, oh, that person ministered to them. And so, okay, so I'll let them go. And then, no, it's already been decided. Okay, these, all these people are just actors. Okay, and a majority of people that come on my channel, I know you're an actor too, because you say satanic things. So stop them or just continue to be an actor and I'll make fun of you if I have time. So I would highly recommend just stop saying stupid things. You know, that would be a better thing for you to do, you know, if you have a functioning brain cell. So don't do that, okay? No lie is of the truth. All these liars, if you're a simulation theory person, if you're a Mandela effector, if you believe that Christ was born of a man and woman, if you believe in the ball earth, you worship the beast. You're part of the beast system. If you believe that you were saved in the past and you think that just you can declare, then you're part of the beast. Good luck with these sores, okay? And um, we don't care. We don't care at all because I'm not going to be around for this for more than a day. Maybe two, I'll go and try and see where Moses and Elijah are and then, you know, greet them, you know, and then that's it. You could you, you could ask them in a few minutes, you're going to find out that they're from God or that like it's going to be easy. Okay. And um, <clears throat> they're going to have power over everything because they're administering these plagues. And so uh, it, it won't be a big deal. Okay. So I, I don't need to see this. I don't, I don't want to be here now. Okay. I don't want I didn't want to be here yesterday or the day before that. And so that kind of thing. So um, again, this is for people who have to go through some amount of this, who are still on God's right hand side, but they have less faith. Okay. They just make up things <laughs> and then maybe God has to show them, you know, for that he's for real, for real. And the times that we live in now, but we see it, you know, we know that these words have to come are coming true right now. And um, we see it. It's clear, clear as day. OK, this is the mark of the beast. OK, and so and if you don't believe that or you think it's a two or three part series, then God's going to have to prove it to you. OK, and then I just hope that you're a person that doesn't have these sores, because then if you have these sores, it's over you're on God's left-hand side. Bye. Okay. And it doesn't matter what you can't pray your way out of that or none of that because that's, you're on God's left-hand side. And an angel declared that. Okay. Cause he put the sores on you. And so it's too late. 
okay? And whatever you do after that, it doesn't make a difference. You could go get this, you can pray all day and it doesn't matter, okay? So, because the angels have declared it and that's coming from God and he knows where his left hand side is and he knows who his right hand side is, okay? And so just know that you don't have to go and witness to anybody in any of that in the times that we live in now, okay? The, the apostles and the, and the preachers in the past, when Christ was there, they got the message right from Christ. They were walking with Christ, okay? And they, they, it was in their spirit, okay? And he taught them the truth directly because he is the truth, okay? And then God commissioned them to go and preach the gospel, okay? And then it survived till now, you know? Barely, but it's made it, okay? Like the Bible hasn't been completely destroyed, you know, and all that, which is amazing in and of itself, okay? So it's, it's persevered and then now God's spirit works with us because if we're on his right-hand side, then we were those spirits in the past, okay? So that was a commission to them to go and preach the gospel. In the last days in the book of Revelation, which is only open to, the, the book is only opened and released to his elect, um, we're told that the gospel is going to be preached by angels in Revelation 14, 6, because it's the everlasting gospel. And God needs that vantage point in the sky. We can't just jump up in the air and start blaring on the loudspeaker, hey, here's the gospel. Who cares? Do you think anybody's going to believe us anyway and all that kind of stuff? I have people who claim that they're Christian come by here and, and call me a Satanist, like good servant and all these demons. And then he talks about the Bible every day, just like he's just on medication, like he's just an, he's just an idiot. And so uh, how are we going to spread the gospel when the Christians are rejecting our <laughs> the Christians are rejecting our message? So don't worry about that, okay? God is doing everything in the last days, everything, <clears throat> because the end times are unique because those very people that spread the gospel, God in this time is trying to deceive them, okay? And then I believe for people who can understand, we're alive now because we know that everything is a, is a deception, everything. And then we know now, God's elect, that God is doing it. You know, the deceived and the deceiver are his. So we view pretty much everybody as an actor, except the other people who are God's elect. And then, but they're, they don't really, they wouldn't argue with the stuff that I teach because they'll know it. And God told them that. So there's no, there's no issues and they're peppered throughout the earth. So they're, they're in random spots. They're not going to have a meetup or anything like that. So, um, there, you know, there, there's no exchange of information. <clears throat> they're the outcasts, like the Bible says, in, in many places and in many ways. So, um, they're totally off the grid, you know, so just know that. Okay. So this, this is very, very important to make the mark of the beast successful. So before any of this happens, so just know right here in Bible prophecy, it states that Christ is going to return prior to a time where the mark of the beast is on some people. Like it says here, the mark of the beast and upon them which worshiped his image. So, um, and I would say that if this is not the mark of the beast, then I would say at this point, the Bible's not true. That's how confident I am. If this goes out worldwide and then God never appears, and it just kind of, you know, you got an app on your phone and it turns out to be just another, you know, just like another one of the other um, jabs that have happened for other, you know, um, um, things worldwide, you know, or just um, other of the, you know, various uh, diseases or ailments or whatever. But this one just happens to go out worldwide. Then I would say the Bible is not true. Then there's no reason to take it seriously because the Bible says the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. So if the earth does something and quote unquote gets away with it, then God's a liar. Then no, then the earth did something and then it was just what it, what it was at face value and all that. And so I think we know that that's ridiculous because like they're atheists that know that, that this is evil. So, but that's the way it is. And so this is the mark of the beast. You know, if the Bible's true and the only reason, the only way that we know if the Bible's true is that these sores happen and then not just the sores happen, but then after these sores happen, those people have to be burned you know, by God himself in the presence of his angels, you know, at the end of this. And so just know that there's still ifs even after this, but pretty much to me, obviously if Christ appears, it's not funny, but if Christ appears, two witnesses are here. And then maybe uh, in a few days or six months later that there's sores on like all these ballers and all these Satanists, uh, I was saved or whatever, and all these people, um, hopefully they come out of that then, um, I mean, there's nothing left to see after that. That's, I mean, the Bible's true. I don't need to see a day of the wrath. I just need to see Christ's return and then two men brought here to America. And then you could go and talk to them <clears throat> because that's what the Bible says. They're going to be people that you can go and talk to and interact. And then the world's going to put two and two together and eventually hate them. 
And so just know that, okay? So it's unmistakable. And I've done a full video on that, how there's not gonna be any alien invasion or anything like that, like some deception or Project Blue Beam and all that kind of stuff. That's gonna be for the people who have these sores and then they're gonna be told that those people are evil. You know, God would never do that. <clears throat> God would never put sores on billions of people worldwide, really. The Bible says something <laughs> The Bible says something different. And the first one out in port is vile upon the earth, the whole earth. Imagine that, the whole earth. Why would God need to do that on the whole earth unless the whole earth is evil? Why? Think about that. And how else could that not be except in the times that we live in now? And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark and upon them which worshipped his image. Okay, so if it just says upon them which worships image, then the mark of the beast isn't even out yet at all. And so it has to say both. Okay, and so this is the environment that's being sort of, um, it's like the pump is being primed kind of thing, where the mark of the beast is going to be out, but not with everybody. It's not going to be required. Because if it's ever required, God's elect wouldn't never stay on earth. They'll be like, hell no. Like, and again, I want people to understand, it's if one of the elect has like a hair trigger and does not want to stay here, then God will rescue all of them. That's the way it is, okay? And then there's at least 144,000 of them sprinkled throughout the earth, and I guarantee you that they're getting tired of this place. So just know that if, th if this thing was ever forced and worldwide, even if, you know, it was just this, and it, it, this was the mark of the beast, but it was this was the first thing, God's elect would be like, no, hell no, okay? So it would never even get to this, Okay then these things would just start. That's why we're at, the, you know, it's very clear that we're in the times that we live in now because even atheists aren't tolerating that. <clears throat> so how's God's elect going to tolerate that? These are the truthers of all truthers. These are the people that in the past were walking with Christ and have spread the gospel, okay? They know God exists, <laughs> okay? So they're not gonna hang around here, be, be around a bunch of retards and all that kind of stuff when they know that God exists, okay? And then take orders from Biden and stuff like that. That's absolutely ridiculous. And so, no, that's insane. And so they're, um, they will find this world stupid, you know, like incredibly stupid, at least as stupid as I find it. So just know that, uh, <clears throat> that this again points us to the times that we live in now, okay? And so we see this recent, um, you know, blood moons and, uh, you know, ring of fire and the strawberry moon and all that. And I mean, it's, who knows which one it is, okay? But like there's, those have happened, you know, recently. And so, um, actually today, you know, that strawberry moon or whatever. So <clears throat> all these things to me are pointing us to the times that we live in now in, in this year. Okay. And so just know that if this is indeed the mark of the beast, and obviously the Bible's true. And then now, now we know that Christ's appearance is, is on the order of days. Okay. Because um, Revelation 13 has to be fulfilled. And then Whatever the mark of the beast is, it has to push it out worldwide. And there's no way it's not working right now. The government needs to be, um, needs a new enemy, you know, and not it. Because the whole financial system, it's the elephant in the room that it's falling apart. And, um, you know, they're just printing money and just giving it to like the rich. Everybody knows that it's in the mainstream news, all that kind of stuff. And then we see all these UFO sightings. So just know that um, these are the times that we live in now. So I don't really debate anybody about the bible anymore at all you know it's it's i just want people to know this is a, a burden that's being taken off my shoulders okay the stuff that i post is largely academic you know just for my own scanning and confirming that what i was told on january 1st 2020 is consistent with the whole bible so i've done that okay check i mean I'm, i don't even know how many videos maybe a hundred okay so and i could find more probably and i may but um so I'm comfortable with that, okay? So what I've taught is what the Bible says from beginning to end, so I'm good with that, okay? And then now we need to see these things, you know? And for me, ultimately, Christ's return to gather up his elect, you know, which will be men, women, and children, you know? But the, ex the experience, the day of it, is tailored for God's elect, 144,000 men, and then they were sealed in Revelation 7, and there's something unique about them because they were sealed with the truth, okay? So they're the only people that know the truth, you know, the full truth and nothing but the truth kind of thing. And it's the same thing when Christ was preaching. That group that was in his inner circle, <clears throat> they're the only ones who knew the full truth. Other people would come by, listen in, maybe go and take a little bit of it and then start their own thing. And then, you know, God will give them some power to give them a following and all that. And then they'll make up their own gospel. And then that's the times that we've lived in now. But it's flourished as well, just like the real gospel has pers persevered but ultimately in the last days 
God <clears throat> implants the truth into their mind directly, just like he did in that time. But now it's the last days and that's the group that I believe, you know, was sealed. <clears throat> and so if what I, what I teach com um, comes true and is true, then God did that. Okay. And so just know that. And so they're the group then that dictates the end times, you know, and so there's other people besides them that are going to be saved, but the timing of it is based on them, you know, and uh, that kind of thing. And then they're going to be put on notice, you know, that it's about to happen. And so um, to me, it's just incredible because all these things are just lining up perfectly. And then we see what's going on in the world. It's very, very clear that um, God's wrapping this up. Okay, so just know that um, people who want to come by and debate me and say, oh, no, I think that this is a precursor to it and all that kind of stuff say no more okay just uh grab your popcorn and then it looks like god's gonna show you what it really is you have to you have to see it then okay <clears throat> and then he might use you in an, as an instrument to have one of these sores on your body okay because you don't know anything okay like you don't bother any all these people out there you don't bother to go and ask god like why don't you ask god why don't you think you think God needs a two-part series for this? Are you kidding me? He's going to do this, and then he's going to do this, and then, oh, okay, he needs a third thing. How much more evil in, in the world do you need, okay? People who do that, they're, they're worshiping the beast, okay? They don't trust God. Where in the Bible does it say to do that, okay? Like, and not even know what it is, okay? And then your own money that is, you know, funding that, and then they're going and then donating that, donating that to the whole world. And like, no one even knows what it is. Where does it say in the Bible, just be ignorant and then allow people to go and <clears throat> use your money to go and distribute this. And then now they care about everybody all of a sudden worldwide. Are you kidding me? If anybody believes that, especially if you're a flat earther, you're absolutely out of your mind and you're a disgusting person, you know, like end times teacher and all these monsters who um, will bark about how evil all these other people are for years and years and years and cite how many years they've been preaching. But like, now something actually evil is happening worldwide. And they're like, eh, not that bad. <laughs> okay. I mean, it could be, it could be worse. Okay. You, you people are monsters. Okay. And I look forward to watching from the spirit world, um, how these sores look on you. Okay. I'll laugh at you retards. And so we don't care. You know, we're in these times now where you either get with the program or you're going to get sores. <laughs> okay. I would just say for people, the few people, less than five, I would say, who come by my channel, uh, get right. Okay. Stop making up stupid things and then coming here and then arguing with me back and forth. Go to a quiet place in your house. Okay. And think, okay. That's what I ask you to do. Think, and then talk to God. Okay. And then I think you're going to get a sense of like what's going on, you know, in the world. And so if these words, if the Bible is ultimately the word of God, these words are going to come true and they have to come true very, very soon because these sores, six, Revelation 16, 2 is necessary for Revelation 13 to get fulfilled. Everything is interwoven. Okay. There's no way that God would return during a time where the mark of the beast is required worldwide. There's no way God's elect don't have a tolerance for what's going on now. So they're not, they would, they'll be like, no, okay. Um, whatever happens with me, I don't care. I'm not staying here. Okay. So it's not for your everyday average Christian who's a bird brain. That's not who God's going to care about. Okay. It's the blind and the lame. Okay. And it's the, the just, the, you know, the souls of the just complain continually. It's those people that God cares about. Not a lot of you retards. Okay. So just know that, um, I know that all you people, your job is ultimately to kick this can down the road and then what I'm going to do is watch you kick the can down the road and I'm just going to wave by. Okay. And then if you hang around for the great tribulation, like end times teacher wants to till the end of it, then, uh, you know, how, do, how are you going to deal with those sores? Okay. Go, go talk to Tahar. He's going to like pray over you and all that kind of stuff. He's going to have them as well. Cause he's a Satanist, just like all you people are. And so just know for the faithful, the few people who have a functioning brain, God's doing all the work. Okay. And he's always been doing all the work, if you can understand this. Okay, we, me, and the few people with a functioning brain, we acknowledge that. Revelation 4.11 is, is the whole Bible. God is, has been doing all the work all the time. He just gives us a sense that we're free, but we're not. Okay, we're a character in his movie. No, nothing more and nothing less. We want to be a character in the next movie, in the kingdom, okay, where righteousness dwells, okay, and only the righteous are allowed in, okay, <clears throat> and guess what everybody in that group is doing, they're worshiping Christ, 
they're not worried about uh think about this why what i don't know it might be this might be that okay those are the pe people that care about christ's opinion first and foremost okay and then that's why they're there because they're going to continue to only care about christ's opinion okay so all you stupid people who have stupid opinions i would highly recommend you get rid of those okay asap and then trust what the bible says hope everyone's doing well bye